There's just something so great about this town. A lot of people are on the same wavelength of keeping Portland weird. nature of the city. People like to get out, have fun, have a good time, and, and events like this work perfectly here. Uh, the Zoo Bombers, they're the people who uh, take the kids' bikes up to Washington Park. And yeah, that's kind of weird. The Zoo Bombing is... Um, Something that happens on Sunday nights. Open invite to meet at 9 o'clock at our pile of bikes across from Pal's Books. We try to keep the pile so that you know people that don't have a mini bike or don't have a bike at all and still want to come Zoo Bomb will have something to try out. Uh, we take the Max to uh, Washington Park Transit Center, uh, which is almost the top of the hill. We walk or ride our bikes to the top, and then we ride down and catch the Max again. Yeah, I mean, it's not for everyone, no. but uh, Portland has enough people that enjoy the outdoors and riding bikes, and you know, it's kind of a sense of community as well. And explain to me this contraption. This is uh, Julia, our double flip bike, also known as a hamster ball. It was built to battle other bikes in uh, a chariot wars, bicycle, post-bocalyptic gladiating event. As far as we know, this is the only double flip bike in existence in the world. The thing it does best is like the forward roll, and that's what it was designed for mostly. At the same time, uh, we grab our front brakes and just lean forward, throwing our weight. There's a lot going on. There's, Portland's got a huge bike scene, obviously. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. Pretty much every day you can find a bike activity. I think we're almost a platinum on, on bicycles. We're the best bicycle city in the United States. Well, I was a bicycling mayor. Uh, well, I rode a bike to work every day. But usually even in snow you can ride a bike, you know. on April 17th and Melissa and Tennessee have mystically arrived from Canada here on the spot to uh, seal their vows of love. So you have a license to wed? That's, that's a little weird, isn't it? Is it? What's so weird about a license to wed? I'm, the idea behind having weddings at the donut shop is simply uh, kind of, you know, in my jack voodoo things, you're supposed to perform rites every now and then in voodoo, and so what, uh, what better than a nice happy rite than weddings? People really like donuts, and I kind of misjudged that a little bit. I didn't really understand the fanaticism of 
fried food. I mean, I knew that people like donuts, but people just like really like Voodoo Donuts. I mean, it's just crazy. I'm really proud of some of our creative work that we've done. You know, we, we, we always say, you know, come in with your ideas. You know, if you want a, if you want a crazy donut, we'll make a crazy donut. There's a great donut over here that they just made too. It's a uh, special order for a unicorn. There are only four things that are official. The name, uh, the City of Roses, the slogan, the city that works, the bird is the blue heron, and the donut is the Portland cream. It can never be reversed, it can never be changed, it will always be the official donut of Portland. I mean, the difference between the Portland cream and the, b b the other cream is our donut has eyes, which gives the Portland cream vision. It's kind of a dream come true for me, you know, and Gad Daddy, but I was born here, so I mean, I've been here a long time, and uh, there's just a lot of freaks. Oh, where could my friends charming be? But a man came along, made my life like a song, and taught me these words of ecstasy. There's no consistent way of interpreting anybody's behavior here. People behave impulsively, chronically in this city. It's not just the style of dress or the style of walking. It's bizarre. The neon lights are bright on Burnside. The say there's always magic in the air. Before you go to make some time, all you got is one in time, and you know you know the time and the time and the time and the time will you.